The Panama Canal, completed in 1914, is one of the most important waterways in the world. From a tiny yacht to a big container ship, thousands of containers pass through this waterway every day. But this important route faces a challenge. Worsening climate conditions leads to droughts and drop of supply of water. Today at Financeper, we'll learn how the Panama Canal plans to solve this problem. But for more videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. The Panama Canal now faces a significant challenge that is unique from other major waterways around the world. Despite being located in the world's fifth rainiest country, Panama is losing a supply of fresh water. Over the past two decades, there has been a noticeable decline in water precipitation or rain, resulting in a 10-foot reduction in the lake level, which is what makes the Panama Canal work. Now to understand why this affects the Panama Canal, we must first know how it works. The Panama Canal operates by utilizing a system of locks and gates to raise and lower ships between the different water levels of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. As ships approach the canal, they are guided into a series of lock chambers by canal pilots and tugboats, where massive gates are closed behind them. The chambers are then filled with water from the higher side of the canal or emptied into the lower side, allowing the ship to ascend or descend to the appropriate water level. After transiting these locks and crossing Lake Gatton, ships pass through a second set of locks on the Pacific side, completing their journey from one ocean to the other. So, what's the big deal? This decrease in water levels has had a pronounced impact on the cargo shipping industry, particularly for large container ships that can carry as much as 16,000 containers at a time. Lower water levels pose a risk of ships getting trapped in the canal, requiring the introduction of draft restrictions or the minimum depth of water it can safely navigate. It determines how much cargo it can carry without running aground. But as drought conditions have worsened, the canal has reduced its draft limit from 50 feet to 44, forcing container vessels to reduce cargo loads by as much as 25%. Shipping companies like Maersk, one of the world's largest cargo carriers, are now sailing additional ships to compensate for the lost cargo capacity due to the low water levels. Others are offloading cargo onto trains as a workaround. But this isn't feasible for all types of cargo ships, particularly bulk carriers carrying coal or grain. And most of all, very inefficient and can contribute more to climate change, which was the main cause of the problem. Now, in an effort to conserve water, the canal has also limited the number of vessels allowed to pass through each day. However, this leads to longer wait times and higher tolls for shipping companies with container vessels paying around $400,000 to cross the canal. To offset these rising costs, ship owners are charging customers approximately $600 more per cargo container. The ripple effects of these challenges extend to the global economy. The Panama Canal is vital for global trade, with various goods including Brazilian meat, Chilean wines, Ecuadorian bananas, copper from Chile, and U.S. Gulf Coast natural gas passing through it. About 73% of all canal traffic is related to or coming from the United States. Any disruptions in the canal's operations could result in increased transit times and costs, leading some bulk carriers to explore alternative routes such as the Suez Canal or the Cape of Good Hope. To address the issue of water scarcity in the Panama Canal region, the Panama Canal Authority has embarked on an ambitious $2 billion plan. This plan focuses on diverting additional rivers into the canal, complementing the three rivers already supplying water to the waterway. While this initiative holds the promise of replenishing the canal's water reserves, it comes with significant challenges. The project is not only financially demanding, but also entails a lengthy and intricate construction process. Furthermore, 
diverting rivers places added stress on the area's existing water resources, which must sustain not only the canal, but also the needs of the region's growing urban population and the delicate ecosystems of the surrounding rainforests. Achieving the delicate balance between meeting the water requirements of the canal, safeguarding the environment, and supporting Panama's urban expansion presents a complex and intricate challenge. But beyond addressing the immediate challenge of water scarcity within the Panama Canal itself, the Panama Canal Authority is also broadening its vision to include critical infrastructure improvements extending beyond the canal's boundaries. This comprehensive approach involves the development of various elements, such as the enhancement of transportation networks like roads and the establishment of advanced storage facilities. These improvements are strategically designed to cater to the needs of cargoes that often face delays while awaiting transportation to their final destinations. Initially conceived as a long-term development plan with a horizon spanning 25 years, the urgency of the situation brought about by changing weather patterns and the escalating water scarcity crisis has prompted the authorities to expedite these projects. In response to this complicated challenge, canal operators are seizing this crisis as an opportunity to accelerate the implementation of these vital infrastructure initiatives. They recognize the significance of securing a sustainable water supply which extends beyond the canal's operational requirements. It directly impacts the welfare and livelihoods of the region's residents and plays a pivotal role in the preservation of the natural ecosystems that envelop the canal. As such, the Panama Canal Authority's commitment to fast-tracking these essential infrastructure projects reflects not only a dedication to the canal's continued operation, but also a resolute commitment to the well-being of the local communities and the ecological treasures that define the region. Today, the Panama Canal still plays a vital role supporting millions of shipments and businesses alike. Every day, millions of dollars flow in and out of the canal, and with worsening conditions, we can only see what will happen soon. But for more videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to check out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notify bell for upcoming videos. For now, this is Finance Spur. Have a great day.